Wagwan beautiful people welcome to yet another video i hope you guys are feeling good i am feeling amazing i mean a 3-1 win against southampton although they had a red card doesn't doesn't matter we got our three points and i have to say i had so many problems with this game i mean what the hell was wrong with the referee today what the hell was wrong with the var today I need answers because what the hell today's game had a lot today's game was one of the best games I feel like as I said in my preview I expect Chelsea to give us goals and goals it is we got I I, I predicted a 2-0 win against Southampton and the result was a 3-1 win now i'll be i'll be going through my prediction then i will be telling you guys what i got wrong and what i got right we'll dissect the first half and the second half and then guys will finally go to my find my score prediction and i have to say i am excited a 3-1 win now let's just jump right into it in terms of the starting 11 i mean i have to say this was a surprise. I mean, even one, one of the commentators mentioned the fact that Thomas Tuchel mentioned that he felt like the players were tired and that they were not getting enough rest. So they, they decided to mix it up. And I am happy with how Thomas Tuchel mixed it up. I mean, the starting 11 was shocking to me because most some of the players I thought would come in as substitutions came in as actual as, as the actual starting 11 now for me this was a shock and i have to say wow just wow because this this starting 11 worked perfectly i mean chaloba wait we'll get there we'll get there calm down calm down <laughs> okay so in terms of starting 11 we had mendy in goal then we had the 3-4-3 system which is what i predicted so i got it correctly as i said three four two one but same thing yeah so three four three for the formation and then we had um for the back three we had rudiger tiago silva and chaloba who i predicted christensen so i was wrong at that part so it was nice to see chaloba make a comeback though you know in his debut game he managed to score a goal and it was just a very emotional moment for him he was very happy so scoring his second goal he was more confident he was more happy and you see he was very proud in terms of the midfield four we had ben Chiel, just as i predicted we had kovacic ruben luftus chick who i suggested to to be there so it was nice to see that ruben luftus chick got an opportunity to play and oh my did he make a difference he made a great difference in this game and i have to say yes thank you thomas Tuchel for putting ruben loftus chick in this game he looks better he looks more informed he looks happy i am really proud of how ruben loftus chick played in this game i mean he came back from an injury and you know sometimes when you, ha when you get back from an injury you have to wait a year or two for you to become to go back to who you actually were in terms of in terms of playing for the season so ruben lucius chick is back from an injury and i'm happy to see that he is getting back to himself i mean he is a great footballer and he deserves the best so congratulations to ruben lucius chick then finally we had aspilicueta at the right wing back just as i predicted then for the front three we had a new introduction we had Callum Hudson Odoi oh my god Callum 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 was giving a hundred thousand out of a hundred I mean he was giving his all the tricks the assists oh my oh my oh my thank you to Callum Hudson Odoi thank you so much to come for putting Callum Hudson Odoi in the front street and this was just a beautiful moment for Callum Hudson Adai. Team of Werner, then up front we had Lukaku. Yes, this is what we call chemistry. I mean, Timo tonight, Timo tonight was the bomb. He was amazing. Oh my god, this is Timo, Tabo Timo, or whatever you want to call him. 
Timo Werner was beautiful in this game. Oh my god. <laughs> then, in terms of Lukaku, some great attempts, but sadly, he was not able to make any goal. I mean, it's really sad, but it's okay. He had a he had a great game too, an okay game because I feel like some of the shots that were attempted, he would have scored at least one a goal, at least one. I mean, Come on, Lukaku, what's going on? I hope he goes back to himself as he was in the beginning, first five games, first five games of the Premier League. He was just amazing. His attempts were on point. He was giving us goals. He had at least four goals out of the five games he played in the beginning of the season. I cannot insist on how much Callum hudson Adoy made a difference in this game. He wanted to prove a point that you guys should start me more often and we got the point. We got the point clearly and this game was just beautiful from Callum hudson Adoy. Then in terms of Timo, 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 yes, he had some nice attempts that sadly were not goals. He even had a goal. He had a goal then, it was ruled foul. Foul to Astiloqueta, it was just a complicated one. And it was just an annoying one because we had already gotten two goals so this would have added up to four goals so in terms of the premier league we would be leading yes we are leading by the way so <laughs> it is really nice to see that we know who we are you know chelsea chelsea we know who we are in terms of the first half of course we were able to nick in a goal within the first 10 minutes in the ninth minute beautiful goal from Chaloba, a beautiful corner kick and a beautiful assist from i think it was ben Chewell. was it ben Chewell? comment in the comment section down below who made the assist to Chaloba because that header was beautiful it was on point and i loved it i loved how Chaloba was calm i loved how he delivered it and overall this was a really great game for Chaloba. i have to say then we went to halftime with a one nil lead and we were feeling confident, we were feeling great. So this was a great opportunity for us to nick in another to make sure that we are stronger, to make sure that we are doing better. So so in terms of the second half, of course, we were we were trying and sadly Benchiwell gave Southampton a penalty and we were at a draw. So at a one we were at a one one draw at the sixty third minute and Sadly for Southampton, they got a red card. They got a red card for a foul against Jorginho. And I have to say, that was a foul. If that referee would not, would not, would not have given that foul, I would know this ref was against us. So, because in the first half, he was ruling everything for Southampton. It was so obvious. Anybody could have seen this, even though you don't support either of the teams. So, in terms of, of the referee, I felt like he was not... He, he was he was just unfair during the first half. At least during the second half, he came back to his senses. And we were leading 11 men. They were 10 men down. This was our opportunity to score as many goals as possible. We had so many attempts. But at the 83rd minute, Timo Werner with the goal. A beautiful goal. An amazing goal. Thank you, Timo. You finally did it. You have redeemed yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then, finally, we had... At the 89th minute, a beautiful goal from Ben Chiwell. The goal that the goal that the VAR had to do at 360. And I love every second of that moment. So that was a great moment. So we were leading 3-1 and this was how the match ended. Generally, I expected a beautiful game, but this was an over-the-top beautiful game. So I enjoyed this game. Thank you so much if you reached this far. Comment in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. And then for my score prediction, I know I predicted a 2-0 win, but yes, we got a 3-1 win with Southampton getting a red card. So we'll take it. I'll take it any day, anytime. This referee was against us. The VAR, I don't know why they gave that foul. We were supposed to be having a 4-1 win against Southampton. But since they wanted to play it like that, it's okay. We still got our our three points and tomorrow if liverpool draw we will be leading this week we'll go for the international break leading the premier league table so we're currently first 
and it feels good to be a Chelsea fan, I have to say. I mean, I told you guys we'd redeem ourselves, we'd come back from the ashes, and that is exactly what we did. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, and I will be seeing you in my next video.